I mean, how hard can it possibly be? You join thousands of other hopefuls, you get shortlisted, you sing in front of the celebrity coaches, you survive the elimination rounds, and then you win the hearts and minds of millions and stand triumphant on the final night, ready for a long and successful singing career ahead. It all sounds easy enough, doesn't it? I mean, seriously, how hard could it possibly be? Sound check. Check one, check two. G'day everyone, Dr. Dan here with another Voice Essentials video. Now, today's topic is a super important one because TV talent shows have become so pervasive in our modern society that some people now incorrectly believe that they are the only way into a music performance career. Let's talk about the top 10 reasons why you should never audition for a TV talent show. And the first reason why you shouldn't get involved is the very reason the shows tell you that you should. Exposure. Sure, exposure is a very real and ready aspect of the show, but the producers only focus on the positive publicity. The positive exposure that just really comes to the top two or three contestants. Everyone else mm. ultimately receives harmful exposure because at some point they are presented to the viewers as unworthy of their continuing adoration. Sure, it's exposure, but probably not the kind of exposure you want. Now, secondly, let's not fool ourselves into believing the artists are in control of their own destiny. Once the singers sign the airtight contracts, they forego all rights and effectively hand over their artistic fate to the corporate producers of the prospective shows and the record labels that may reluctantly take them on later down the track. If you want to fashion your own identity as a singer and performer, TV talent shows are most probably not for you. Speaking of contracts, rumours abound, but suffice to say, the arrangements that these programs offer on behalf of the record labels are fashioned to enslave the artist for many years beyond the completion of the program showing. Many young artists have been effectively shelved by these totalitarian TV talent show contracts, all but missing their window of opportunity to get a start in the industry. I know this is all sounding rather doom and gloom, but before I give you further reasons to avoid these programs, please take a quick moment to hit the thumbs up button if you're looking forward to hearing more about the dangers of the TV talent show. So why do so many young people line up year after year like lambs to the slaughter? Well, I've coined this phenomenon, labelling it the King Arthur Syndrome. I've got a whole other video about the King Arthur Syndrome, which I'll leave a link to in the description section below, but suffice to say, TV talent shows prey on the young artist's insecurities and search for significance. And despite knowing that nearly every contestant before them has failed, like King Arthur, they step up to the rock believing they will be the ones to remove the sword from the stone. To say it another way, it's like buying a lottery ticket and thinking against all rational thought that you will hit the jackpot. But you see, even if you do win, you lose. Don't believe me? Then I have one question for you. Who won the last season of your country's preeminent TV talent show? Most of us can name the early winners like Kelly Clarkson in the USA and Guy Sebastian in Australia. But the further you get away from those first seasons, the harder it is to remember the winners of those programs. So how is this losing, I hear you ask? Well, simply put, your career is over before it even started. The record label typically records one album with one hit single, does a short tour, and then shelves the winner. If you win, enjoy the ride, because it usually lasts less than six months. After that, your yesterday's news and the fickle public move on. Seriously, the audience will love you one day and forget you the next, literally. Let me ask you again, can you remember last year's winner hmm. yet? It's not your fault that you can't remember. These programs work on the premise that the general consumer is continuously in search of something new. And that's why every iteration of the show is advertised as this promises to be the best season yet, or this season, the level of talent collected from across the country has gone to the next level. You know the spiel, it's language designed to focus the audience on the new and exciting, drawing them away and their attention away from last year's show. 
I hope you can see by now that you, the artist, are not unique in the eyes of the TV talent show. You are merely a commodity. Sure, the program's producers may be kind to your face during uh, auditions, but these smiling assassins will terminate your stay without a second thought when their ratings suggest that you no longer are benefiting their bottom line. Always remember, the show doesn't care about your artistic dreams. TV talent shows exist for one reason and one reason only, to sell advertising space. TV talent shows exist to make money, not artists. Not convinced that TV talent shows should be avoided yet? Stick around, I've saved the last three most compelling reasons why these programs are merely a modern day Roman Colosseum till the very end. Sound check. By now, you could be excused for thinking I've got an axe to grind from some past negative experience. No, I've just seen too many young singers hoodwinked into believing that these shows are the gateway to a happy performance career. Talking of hoodwinked, what would you say if I told you that the celebrity judges on these programs have no actual say in who is chosen and who is discarded? What would you say if I told you that the celebrity judges are merely the puppets of the executives driving the programs? This is not a wacky conspiracy theory. Apply some logic with me. Do you really believe that the TV executive producers are going to hand over the control and direction of a multi-million dollar production to three or four celebrity singers whose resumes almost certainly do not include A&R development, you know, artist and repertoire? Let's not kid ourselves. At best, the celebrity coaches are pawns in a more significant game. At worst, they're complicit in the demoralization of tens of thousands of singers. But let's not single out the producers and celebrity coaches as if they were solely to blame. We too, the viewing public, must take responsibility for the part we play in the big machine called TV talent shows. You see, every time we watch one of these programs, albeit for harmless entertainment, we offer up our acceptance to the machinations of the show. And if we choose to audition, we actively participate in a process that churns through singers like they are pieces of cheap gum. The moment the chew has lost its sweetness, it's spat out and discarded to be trodden underfoot. And all of this might be somehow okay, <laughs> I don't know how, but it might be okay if the results for many past participants weren't the cessation of their singing and commencement of countless sessions with a psychologist. Now, I fully acknowledge that not everyone who auditions for a TV talent show will require mental health care in the days following their participation, but there are far too many reported cases for us to ignore the genuine possibility that you might not handle the audition process. Even if you're willing to risk the humiliation on a national stage in front of millions, I encourage you to think twice about risking your mental health. These programs can literally cost you everything. I've just offered 10 reasons why you shouldn't audition for a TV talent show. What have I missed? Leave your comments below and if you're so inclined, feel free to offer an alternative view. Perhaps you think singers should risk it all and audition. I'll be keen to read your thoughts as well. In the, me in the meantime, take a moment to share this video on your social networks with every singer who, who is considering or has considered auditioning for a TV talent show. You never know, you might save their artistic lives. I'll see you soon. I'm Dr. Dan, sing well.